Hello, we are live with the Fraga Nationals. I'm your host, Spunty. And today, we are going to be watching a match between Crazy Yo and Friends and the beautiful China Wares, is what I think they're called. Um, right now, they're banning maps. Um, a bit of history for these players. So, this is going to be the China Wares, the beautiful China Wares first game. Um, but we're playing on a Chinese server, and I think that the beautiful China Wares players are Chinese. So, as you can see, their ping is very good, as opposed to Crazy One friends who are from Europe. And their ping is not so good at all. But, Crazy Yo and Friends have already got a win under their belt um, from the first match of Group D, I believe. And they're a, they're a good team. They faced against the Ruroni clan and they beat them, I think it was 6-0, so quite a significant win to say the least. So they do have ping disadvantage here, but Crazy and Friends team are not to be counted out just because of that. I think we're not sure how good the beautiful China Wears team are, but um, it's we don't know, you know, whose game it's going to be until we really get into it. So yeah, it's uh, just me casting right now. Um, this is my second time casting alone, third time casting all together. I casted Crazios and Friends uh, match before with the Ruroni clan, where they just absolutely destroyed. See, the thing about um, Crazyo and Friends team is that they they're just very they're very coordinated, and they have good aim. And I, uh, they have a lot of experience with the game. Okay, I don't know about this little spot before. Look, yeah, this tells me that the beautiful China Wears clan, they're also going to be hopefully having some uh, good game sense and coordination. I think I was uh, just playing around with them a little bit before the game started, and they seem good. So hopefully... It will be quite an interesting match and not another just crushing defeat by Crazy One Friends. But as I said before, the ping difference uh, might make it a little bit harder because as Crazy You and Friends team are very good with aim and I think they are very coordinated as well. I don't know um, how good their movement is or that kind of thing. It, it seems like the beautiful China Wars here have got quite good movement. Um, not to say that Crazy and Friends don't have good movement, of course. Like, look, you can see him bouncing around over here. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how these teams' uh, game really plays out. So, if we take a look at the map bands here. All right. Seeming like a likely Desperados, which is, uh, makes sense. As a, as a particular favorite, nothing wrong with that. But yeah, this is going to be the first time we're seeing the beautiful China Wears play, and I'm. It's always interesting to see how the first match of a team goes down because Crazy O and Friends of course people know their skill level but when uh, an entirely new team comes out like this oh yeah gets the kill on Crazy there I mean it's just warm up but still yeah when an entirely new team is coming out then who knows what they're gonna bring you know I think we we're just from like the uh, 
this is pretty much based around the Fistful of Frags community Discord. But I think some teams from the Frag Nationals have come not just from the Discord. They've uh, they've found different means through it. So I don't really know. Uh, I don't know the players from the Beautiful Jana Wares. But we'll see how good they are. What a lovely painting. Very nice. All right, so they're just discussing the bands left. Um, yeah, about this server, by the way. I think Crazy was saying there was a problem with the European server, and I think there was, like, someone couldn't connect to the South America server, and those are, like, the only three ones that we can play on. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. But it is a shame that the ping couldn't be uh, better aligned to each team because it can really make or break a game. It's hard to say. Okay, they're going to Sweetwater, which is a it's a decently it's a decently common map to pick. Um, Sweetwater is certainly very interesting. I think the uh, it, all the maps they they just have a different way of playing, really, and it's hard to describe the exact ways that each map is uh, you know played different. But they all have their their little subtleties and things about them you can exploit. Like um, in Sweetwater, for instance. At least I think it's Sweetwater. I, I, I don't really know the map's names fully. Though I do know the maps, you know. I know that I know the map's kind of like the back of my hand at this point. I just don't really know the name. Um, oh, I think... There's uh, some... Confliction going on with the map bands. Sometimes this happens. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll figure it out, I'm sure. But yeah, with uh, I think it's Sweetwater is the is the one. Uh, I think it has the train with a gold chest in the middle. But there are a lot of maps with trains in the middle. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Hang on. Let, okay, I'm just going to go through the bands and see who's actually right here. So. First, they banned Flood Rock. Mm. Nest. Fistful. Cripple Creek. And they banned Desperado's Law. I think it's Sweetwater. Yeah, okay, they they decided. They get there in the end. Alright, so let me um, just confirm now that Sweetwater's the map I was thinking of. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 this is the one. Alright, so if I can hopefully fly around. Yeah, see, this is, um... There's all these little ways to get to the gold chest, where... 
on some maps some of the um the gold chest spots are quite campy like this um in sweet water because obviously the gold chest is the, the best chest that's the one you want to get if you're saving up because sometimes the games do get a little bit campy you know you might be uh camping around this area and the other team might be you know in the tunnels of terror down here or you might be um camping out this area which is possible i've seen people get on the roof here I don't really know how to do that. I think you can also get on the roof here, which we saw. I can't remember who it was. It was one of the teams was using this spot. But yeah, there are a lot of a lot of special spots on this map. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, with the gold chest in here, is you can you can come up from pretty much anywhere, but you can't really camp out this area because this is probably the most open area. You know, there's you've got so many points that. People can come in and uh, take you out. So if you're going to go for a gold chest weapon, you've got to be really ready. But I think, um, yeah, in um, a previous game before, okay, um, we saw someone take a sharps out of here and actually be fairly effective with it. Okay, crazy saying the warm up broke. So he's restarting the map, I think. Yeah. Um, but on each end of the map, because the map can be, it can be quite close range at times, but because the, the spots, um, at each end are so different and there's red chest at each one as well, you can kind of camp out. So I do like Sweetwater and I think it's well designed in that regard. Um, yeah, because you see all the, you've got the big house here and the big hill here. And it is quite close range, but the way it plays is just quite unique. And there are a lot of spot, you know, there are little sneaky spots here. A lot of these little sneaky spots. Okay. I think they're restarting the server. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about this, everyone. Bear with me. Hmm. Okay, he was saying the warm-up broke. And the warm-up was also broken on the European server as well. I don't know if they're broken the same way. All right, looks like it's back up. So hopefully we're going to be able to just get right into this now. Alright, of course, this is not Sweetwater, but I assume we'll be changing to it soon enough. Okay. Connection problem. Nice. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, just a little bit of technical differ difficulties, everyone. But hopefully third time's the charm here. And we should be back online and ready to get fragging right now. Yeah, but like, see with uh, this map, how I was saying about the gold chest being really open on the map, like Fistful, the gold chest is, uh, you can really camp it out. So if you want to be really defensive with your playstyle like that, if everyone like just gets sharps and pumps, or even walkers, you can just camp this bit out because it's so closed off. And like, it's a real siege to try and get in the bank. 
the legendary Bank El Paso. Uh, All right, this, uh, hopefully is soon working, I think. Yeah, everyone's in spectate. So once we get the map changed, then we should be ready to go. They want to change the Desperados. No, it's Sweetwater. Yeah. You know, I think Fistful is probably one of the most successful little towns in all of the Fistful of Frags map. Look, they got a theatre, they got houses still being built, they got this lovely house, they got a bank, a big old bank, they got hardware, they got hot baths, five cents for a hot bath. If that is not blooming economy, I don't know what it is. They got horse wagons here. They're selling guns, they've got wanted criminals, so the law enforcement is good. Fistful, honestly, that's that's a fistful of good, um, good blooming town. <laughs> I'm very sorry if, uh, if anyone's getting tired of me just filling in the void with this nonsense. Uh, the map will be starting soon and I can actually talk about what matters, which is the Frag Nationals match between Crazy Yo and Friends. And the beautiful China wears. So hopefully the warm up is uh, 90 seconds long. And we should be getting going. So. Maybe I can start to talk about. The individual players. So I mean I, of course I don't really know anything about beautiful China wears. I'll try and uh, analyze things about them as we go on. Sunset with a mer's leg. Very admirable weapon in my opinion. I don't care if people say it's overpowered. Because I love the mer's leg so. Look, the Merse Leg comes out of your hand. Like, that basically makes you a cyborg cowboy. And if that isn't sick as fuck, I don't know what is. Um, anyway. Crazyo with a Remington. Crazyo, precision aim player, just all around pretty good. Um, so obviously, we would accredit him to the Remington. As that just seems to suit him. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, two Remingtons for Scamper, just one and up, one upping his teammate crazy there. As you know, one gun is just not enough. Unless it's a rifle, but I mean, I would like rifles to be dual wield. If you could hit fire them, just like one in each hand, that would be sick. Uh, Rebel, if you're watching, please, can we dual wield rifles? <laughs> just kidding. That would be terrifying. Um, Brode. This guy's, yeah. He's also a Remington. So it seems like most players, I think we saw someone with a Volcanic. But that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harrington with the Volcanic. They're probably going for like, this is probably their strategy and coordination that they've got going here. So pro I reckon how they're going to do it is Harrington, because he has a knife as well. He'll be going in first and he'll be getting in with the combos. And then um, they'll have the high... Uh, range players with the Remingtons behind them just uh, dealing in that damage so they can take people out very quickly. Um, so it seems now the warm up is over and I believe this is the first round. So. Yeah. Crazy and friends with the death ball right now. They're just going to be going in. On, oh, yeah. See, Harrington was just charging in first. I don't know if they should have aggressed there because it was a very tight hallway. And they could let um, the beautiful China wares could literally just peek, and that's what they did. They could just peek around and uh, just take them out uh, with the Remingtons, which is just uh, two shot from each. Very powerful weapons at that range, so maybe they should have wrapped back round and uh, tried for a different approach. Because I think they were both death ball right now. Um, uh, right there, sorry. So it might have been. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Um, who's this? Sunset is running up. Yeah, there we go. Ha See Harrington. 
he just charged him down with the volcanic there, and because uh, um, sunset, he would have had to land the the mare's leg headshot basically there, because Herring um, Harrington's DPS at that close range was just so uh, heavy. So yeah, um, all of the beautiful China wares, they have mares and Remingtons, which are all mid-range weapons. So they might struggle a little bit against the aggression of Crazy O and friends. But the thing is, um, if the beautiful China wares are able to keep them at range, they might have a significant advantage. See, he's gone with a Smith Carbine here, which I think he just got from a chest. Um, oh, and he's all alone here. Who is this? Yeah, Crazy's all alone. Not a good place to reload that. Oh, but he's got a friend. Harrington goes down, and Crazy is... Uh, Scamper is the last one left. So, um... Where is Scamper right now? Alright, he is running away. Probably finding a good place to hold. Maybe he's going up to the red chest. Yeah, just to camp out. Maybe get a Spencer and uh, try and defend himself here. While his team might be able to get a pick and then they can uh, push in. But yeah, beautiful China wears. Just running that death ball. Which is uh, a pretty good idea for the mid-range guys. Ooh, and uh, got in a hit there. That was Harrington. Um, he went back and got a Spencer. Yeah, it's just, just unfortunate. Okay. I was going to talk about the ping and uh, the difficulty they might have aiming, but oh my god, Harrington just clean sweeps them with that Spencer. Damn. Well, it wasn't a clean it wasn't a clean sweep. It was obviously teamwork, but taking the head off. I was talking about ping earlier, but it seems they don't really care about their high ping. They can aim just fine. Hit Harrington hitting the headshot. It's interesting how he was using the Volcanic before. Yeah, he's using the Volcanic, but he was opting for uh, Spencer from the chest. Which maybe he was realizing how the... Ooh, and he... Uh, Sunset hits a headshot there, but it doesn't manage to kill. And... Beautiful China wears are down two players. So... Right now, yeah, the scores. Crazio's team are two and one. And the last guy left is Bean from the Chinaware team. So where is he right now? He's got a coach gun. Oh yeah, that's my special coach gun uh, mod skin that I got. Don't worry about that. Um, he's just defending right now. Uh, yeah, Crazy Yo and friends are trying to mount an offense here. But Bean gets the pick with the coach gun. And Crazy's going to be running away. Uh, I think that's... Man, I wish you could just click on people to be able to spectate them. It's really hard. I guess I could do control. Okay. The beautiful China wears have evened this up. With Bean managing to stay alive quite nicely here. So what's he running? He's got Knuckle Dusters. Um... I assume he's just got a Remington. Oh, is he? Tr he was trying to get onto the roof there. <gasps> oh! <laughs> and Bean shoots the dynamite from Crazy's hand. <gasps> oh, and I think Crazy humili humiliate. He just died there somehow. Maybe he spawned and died. But God damn, that is not very. I think there's an achievement for doing that. He shot the dynamite out of his hand and it exploded and obliterated him. Wow, Crazy. That that might be a huge blow to morale there, as well as to his uh, character's body. Ooh, a nice Remington snipe there. Okay, yeah. No right-handed, so that is a very accurate Remington, which is quite scary. Right-handed Remington is good for mid-range. And there we go, what a turnaround from the beautiful China wears there, proving that they cannot be counted out so quickly. And are those... Yeah. 
Hmm. I think crazy having some ping problems there. But yes, the game is... Get me out of the chat. There we go. The game is neck and neck. And honestly, it could be anyone's game here. I'm not sure who, it's, who it is. But yeah, I think... Despite the server differences, you got to hand it to the beautiful China West. I was talking about players at the start just coming out here and making a name for themselves. And look at them. They're just running in and absolutely cleaning up. Oh, and but Crazy Yo and oh, and they just turn it around. That was very fast-paced game. I don't know if that was to do with the beautiful China Wears kind of getting cocky there. It might not have been. It might not. It might have just been how the game uh, plays out sometimes. Um. But yeah, again, that one was very close. Um. So it looks like they're grouping up more here. Um, this guy is at, Sunset is out by himself. I'm not sure what he's looking to do here. But I think the rest of his team are completely on the other side of the map, right? Where are they? Yeah, they're all completely split up. And Crazy and team are holding up on this. It's a nice little snipey spot. Uh, so if one of the beautiful Chinaware's players does decide to come take a peek... Yeah, I'm hearing firing. Um, it might be that... Can I fly away? Oh, I didn't know you could break that wood. Um, it might be... That he goes down here, because he's all alone. So, okay, what he might be doing here is... He might be kind of on a suicide mission. Um, to break up... The, the death ball... Because it will be very hard to just mount this defense by themselves. So yeah, he's playing a very def he's playing a defensive offense here right now. And yeah, as you can see, he's gone, um, he's gone to aggress on that kill. While, what? Oh my god, what are they even doing here? This is like some next level stuff, I think. Okay, yeah, crazy is the last one left. So that they they were just. Yeah, what they were doing, they knew, they probably knew he had the death ball here. Is this crazy? Gonna die here? Maybe? Yeah, wow, that was very... Yeah, they just got Peacemakers. That was very smartly played, I think. Because they could have just held up um, Crazio's team, and they could have tried to get Spencer's and just defend, but because they aggressed on that kill, the beautiful Chinawares were able to disrupt Crazio and Friends' defense. And just sneak in and take them out with peacemakers. Very well done, but still, the, the game is three three. I I'm not sure who it in, but right now, to be honest, I'm kind of rooting for. Oh, they got three hundred and forty four viewers on their stream. Nice. Uh, hope this video gets some. All right, what are they doing now? Harrington's just hiding. I mean, I guess they're just saving up cash to get good weapons. But again, they're in the same spot here. Um, and they might even just do be doing the same thing here. Oh no, Sunset gets taken out this time. Um, he's not having any of it. Who was that? Hmm, Harrington. Being the... He's the aggressor, I think. I think... I think Harrington is the aggressor. And... Being... Oh, uh, no. Sunset is the aggressor of... Uh, the beautiful China Wears team. Oh, and they spotted him. Probably trying to break it up again, I think. Yeah, that is Sunset again. See, yeah, he's just... He's just doing the aggression... While, uh, like... And Harrington is also filling that role, I think, while the rest of the team get guns so they can break them up and then just weed their way in and take them out, so... Very smart plays. So I'm assuming that, um, the beautiful China Wears team haven't just come out of nowhere. As, uh, I mean, like, in their sort of scene. Because... If they got 300, wow. <laughs> yeah, 
If they got 344 viewers, then that's a fair amount, isn't it? Not bad. Can I get rid of this thing? Please? There we go. Yeah. Alright, yeah, this is a classic Spencer spot, really. Um, he's got a Spencer. I don't know. Yeah, he's got a Peacemaker. I'm assuming this is Harrington. Harrington with the Peacemaker, as yeah, he's more of the aggressor. So, they're gonna need to get Bean here. Where is Bean? And Bean has a Colt Walker, so you do not want to mess with this guy. Oh, and Harrington with oh Harrington with the Peacemaker headshot. Crazy yo, taking this game three four. It could have been anyone's game there. Cause all I mean, Crazy yo and friends still had two players alive, I believe. But when you have a Walker, it could have been anyone's game. Yeah, it was just kind of came down to which direction he was looking at there. Because I do not doubt um, Bean's aim with a walker. Alright, so what is going on right now? Seems people are kind of separated. What are people going for here? Okay, this is... Uh... Alright, I think, yeah, people have come together. Damn, it really is just nice seeing... This is a this is a high level match. These are players who they, I don't think they're making too many mistakes or it might not be that they're not making too many mistakes but they are making a lot of the right choices in how you're supposed to play out these 3v3 games because the strategy here is really a cut above on how you're just uh, on how a GFL free for all shootout game is going to go, believe you me. Alright, so Harrington the Showfield. Yeah, we've seen a decent amount of coach guns this map, I guess because a lot of the um the exchanges have been quite close range here. But Sunset just gonna No, and he doesn't want any of that. Oh and Crazy and Friends cleaning up. Oh, and they just took they just instantly took them out. This is match point to Crazy and Friends here. It was looking pretty even, but I guess the beautiful China wares are going to really have to mix it up um, if they want to get a win here, or if they want to turn it around. So, how grouped up are they? All right, I don't. They're not really completely together at the moment. Um, one player from each team has already gone down, and that is. All right, yes. Sunset went down, but I don't... Oh, no. Sunset is the last surviving player. Um, oh, and he's just going to walk into... Oh, yeah. This seems like a bit of a suicide here. I don't really know what he was thinking there. Uh, okay. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. How crazy like that. So, crazy yo. With 144 notoriety. And Harrington with 368. Crikey. Real a real difference in the in the player's notoriety here. So I think um Alright. Time for a bit of post match analysis. That was a very enjoyable game. And we saw some very good plays come out from these two players. Um these two teams rather. And uh let's talk about them here right now. I think um if Young Peen was here. He would have an absolute field day um, discussing everything that was going on. But I can only remember some things. So, first I'm going to talk about who I think the MVPs were. Harrington, obviously he had that big notoriety. I think Harrington, he really, he really came through with a lot of clutch players there. And I think, I don't know how bad the ping was for them, but he was still managing to hit the Peacemaker headshots we saw. He, we saw his aim with a Spencer was just kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> crazy. Uh, I don't know if I can, yeah, if I can just go onto my screenshots here. Um, this was the final score. So yeah, I think I, I would give 
the MVP to Harrington, though they were sort of like, you know, cogs in a machine, how they played. Um, I think the the MVP for the beautiful China wears, I would say it was either either Bean or Sunset. Sunset was a very integral part to really making a lot of the effective plays happen. Like, we saw he was the one who was being the most aggressive, and um, yeah, Sunset was uh, allowing for the rest of his team to come in and infiltrate the death balls of Crazy O's team, and we saw that did work out very well um, a few times. But I think Bean, overall, he had the highest aim, and uh, I think he was probably their best player just in terms of being a real anchor. I think Bean was definitely an anchor there. Uh, we didn't see too much great things coming out from Foil Ray here, unfortunately. Not to say that he wasn't good, I think, but his uh, Crazy O's team, a very, very solid team. Just really outshine them there with their. I think we could just call it. It was just superior skill, and their their strategy, as I was saying at the start, was completely down. Uh. Yeah. Very interesting game. Um, I feel like it. It could have gone differently. I think maybe the beautiful China West team they were it was they were having a very promising tie at the start but as the game went on we just saw them kind of make rash decisions like I don't know what Sunset was doing at the very end there like both of his friends were dead and he was like I'll just charge into the two players like I don't know really why he did that. I don't know if he was giving up. I hope not. Because, come on, that's not great sportsmanship. But, um, yeah. I mean, he was the aggressor, but there are times when, as the aggressor, you have to tone it back. You have to realize, okay, like I'm, I need to play on the defense now. And uh, that kind of malleability is what made Crazy O's team so great. Um... So yeah, very well done to Crazy O and friends. Very well done to the beautiful China Wears. Good games. I'm Spunty. And this has been the Frag Nationals. Thank you for watching. And keep fragging. <laughs> yeah.